Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel in today's news. It's a sobering reality, one that would leave the founding fathers rolling over in their graves, Nancy Pelosi said. Nancy Pelosi has some thoughts on what America's founding father would say of President Donald Trump. While attending the New Yorker Festival on Saturday, the House Speaker sat down with journalist Jane Mayer to discuss the upcoming election and current impeachment probe into Trump. Reflecting on the country's current predicament, Pelosi reminded people that the potential impeachment is not something to be gleeful about for our country. It's a very sad time when there is the thought that the President of the United States and the truth and the data and the facts show that the President of the United States has violated his oath of office, she told the audience. It's a sobering reality that one would leave the founding fathers rolling over in their graves, she said. They would have never suspected that someone would come into that office and so disrespect the office that he holds, so disrespect the oath of office that he takes that he would kick over all of those guardrails. It would have been unimaginable to them. They must be in tears, she said. They must be in tears. On September 24, Pelosi announced a formal impeachment inquiry after Donald Trump lobbied Ukraine's president to investigate his leading 2020 rival, former Vice President Joe Biden. During the event, Pelosi revealed that when she first spoke to the president about his actions and the transcripts, he called them perfect. I can't tell if he knows, what's, if he knows right from wrong or even if he cares. She said, I just know he'd done wrong. But it cannot go undressed, unaddressed because any other president might come along and decide he or she can just do whatever they feel like doing, just destroys the democracy. Pelosi added of the probe, our founders, in their wisdom, they thought that somebody might get a little carried away with his or her power, so they put guardrails in the constitution to protect the republic. As of October 8, the White House released a letter refusing to cooperate to cooperate with the impeachment inquiry and accuse Democrats of trying to reverse the results of the 2016 election. While public opinion polls show a growing number of voters in support of the inquiry, many Republican leaders continue to rally behind and defend Trump. Here's the thing. Donald Trump is their guy, Pelosi said of the Republican Party and their continued support for Trump. There is nothing that he has put out there that they haven't been for longer and worse. I'm not talking about his grotesque personality, any of that. They're not like that. I'm just talking about where he is on policy. And where he is on policy is where they had been and worse. According to CNN, Democrats have their positions with Deputy Assistant Secretary of State George Kent, State Department Counselor Ulrich Brechtbull and U.S. Ambassador to the European Union Gordon Sondland scheduled for next week. That is it for today's news, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Goodbye.